Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses as we continue with Lesson 41, I Have Prepared My Dinner, of International Esoteric and Illumined Bible Lessons by R. Swinburne Clymer. International Esoteric Bible Lessons prepared for the Sunday Schools of the Church of Divine Illumination, Matthew 22nd Chapter, 1st to 15th Verses. Golden Text Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fattenings are killed, and all things are ready. Come into the marriage. Jesus likens the kingdom of heaven to a certain king which made a marriage feast for his sons. Verse 2 And sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. The real is always the best. The illusions and drawing powers of the flesh are but dreams. Man with all his reason and foresight cannot see beyond the material, that its pleasures are but short-lived. Everything that is done for the body must be done again and again. It drinks and thirsts again. It eats and hungers again. It sleeps and is drowsy again. Nothing is lasting. Yet men allow the body to rule them. Their body overcomes mind and soul, and they are but slaves to the desires of the body. The good things, the real things, the life and peace of the soul they refuse, sacrifice and will not come to the law of truth and life. Again the king sent for those bidden to come to the marriage. Again and again truth is demonstrated, taught and manifested to the world, and the world will not accept it. Verse 3, But they made light of it, and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. The world always makes light of truth, turns away from the material, or farm, their merchandise or trades. Give people the ancient wisdom of the initiates and they call us fools. They mock it, snare it, but they see only that which is possible for them to see. We can see only as far as our vision is guarded. We cannot see above that which is above us. Verse 6, And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully. They mocked the truth, they persecuted it. Verse 7, but when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. We do not teach a vindictive, revengeful God as the Orthodox do. We know that no violence belongs to God nor heaven, and that this is a symbol of the destruction of the souls of the wicked. They destroy themselves by rejection of the Christ principle. Materiality and greed will soon destroy the victim of their illusions, but good will always destroy the evil sooner or later. Therefore, verse 8, he saith to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Verse 9, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage. The truth is not for one. Not for one nation only, but for everybody. Verse 10, So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all, as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. The truth is manifested to all, good and bad, and the bad may partake of all that the good have had if they wear wedding garments, that is, put on the Christ. Verse 11, for when the king came in to see the guest, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. He was bad, not pretending to be good. He was a hypocrite, but the Christ awakened knows. Verse 12, And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in thither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Verse 13, Then the king said to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into utter darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All hypocrisy and pretense must be cast out. The bad may be cleansed and become pure enough to wear the wedding garments of Christ, but the hypocrite or pretender cannot come. 
There are many who mix in with the true followers of the Christ who are not true. The people may be fooled and are fooled by these pretenders, but they cannot inherit the kingdom of Christ by outward pretense and inward evil. Verse 14, For many are called, but few are chosen. Those who are true, sincere, and abide in truth are chosen. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.